हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर मोहन एल वर्मा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अप्लाइड फिजिक्स श्री शंकराचार्य टेक्निकल कैंपस जुनवानी फिलाई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री लेक्चर लेक्चर दिस इज हाउस द पार्ट ऑफ दैट लेक्चर सीरीज कंप्यूटेशनल फिजिक्स लर्न विथ मी दैट इज एक्चुअली द लेक्चर ऑन सम स्पेशल टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस कंप्लीमेंट्री लेक्चर इज द वर्चुअल एव वन एंड इन दिस वर्चुअल लेव वन आई विल कवर the determination of planck's constant now the outline outlines so the first part of this outlines is the introduction of virtual lab second is i am of vle and uh, operators required then theory of virtual lab experiments here instruction to students and your demonstration now the first is the introduction of virtual lab experiment here i would like to emphasize Uh, give the emphasis on the statement that lab work is as important as theory so to keep this statement in mind i have also listed some virtual lab experiment along with uh, the theory part actually all these experiments are correlated with the theory of that physics lab syllabus of cs video so i want to so you uh, the list of uh, those uh, experiment uh, prepared by me these are the title of that experiments and uh, this uh, second this third column gives uh, uh, the name of a uh, number of unit uh, which that particular in which that particular lab uh, belongs to so there are uh, big uh, list of 18 about 18 experiments the objectives uh, to perform online the lab on virtually platform and uh, prerequisite the knowledge of concept of lab related theory and uh, the window platform with good internet and uh, java enabled web browser of this really and uh, operators required this uh, i am is to, deter, to determine on the plank constant this particular lab uh, work is actually related with the uh, uh, unit of uh, quantum physics and uh, this is included here because uh, recently i have completed one lecture on schrodinger's uh, time dependent wave equation that uh, uh, directly belong to uh, quantum physics and uh, this uh, one can also correlate this particular uh, virtual lab uh, Uh, another unit that is the semiconductor uh, or solid state physics unit because uh, uh, in this uh, particular uh, uh, experiment led is being used that pn junction type diode is being used so one can correlate this uh, uh, with uh, that semiconductor type unit also so operators required are 0 to 10 power supply old power supply one way key a rheostat a digital multimeter a digital voltmeter and one kilo ohm resistor and the different uh, uh, known wavelength leds light emitting diodes so now let's start the theory actually its theory belongs to the theory of light emitting diodes that light emitting diodes is uh, two terminal semiconductor light source and in unbiased condition there is one potential barrier is developed across the pn junction of that led and uh, this theory is also mentioned in uh, 12th level physics uh, so uh, students are familiar with uh, the um, concept of this led and the function of this led and when we connect the led to an external voltage in forward bias direction the height of potential barrier across the pn junction is reduced at a particular voltage the height of potential barrier becomes very low and the led starts glowing in the forward bias condition electron crossing the junctions are excited and uh, when they return to their normal state energy in form of light is emitted the particular voltage is uh, called as new voltage or that threshold voltage and the new voltage is reached once the new voltage is reached the current may increase but uh, the voltage does not change the part of the uh, the theory the light emitting the that light energy emitted during forward bias is given as e is equal to hc by lambda where c is the speed of light h is planck constant lambda is wavelength of light if we feed the forward voltage across uh, the led 
when it becomes to emit light means that uh, that new voltage the energy given to electrons at cro uh, crossing the junction is e is equal to e v this is the simple mathematical term many times uh, this formula is used so by comparing these two relation e is equal to h c by lambda and e is equal to e nu one will have one relation that e v is equal to h c by lambda so one can uh, calculate it for phi and that v is equal to h c by e multiplied by 1 upon lambda so if we have a plot between phi and 1 upon lambda then this uh, s is uh, that slope that is equal to h c by e and if you want to calculate this h then that h is equal to e by c multiplied by s so this formula uh, is used to determine that h now the procedure so after the connection are completed the connection is shown in this uh, uh, diagram and one uh, circuit diagram is also given here so according to this circuit circuit diagram the connection is uh, uh, performed so after these connections are completed click on insert key and this is also given in that uh, uh, virtual lab session and key, key, key on, uh, click on that combo box under select LED button and then uh, the short value is uh, adjusted to get particular value of resistance and corresponding voltage across LED is measured using voltmeter uh, shown in this uh, figure and uh, that will be uh, the new voltage when that LED starts uh, uh, glowing Re repeat by changing this LED and uh, note down the corresponding uh, new voltage and uh, one can have a plot between that new voltage and uh, that wavelength uh, of light and uh, one can calculate this h by using this formula h is equal to e lambda v by c for a particular uh, light wavelength or uh, by using uh, that plot and get uh, uh, that slope s and one can also calculate that one can also the wavelength of infrared led is calculated by using lambda is equal to h c by e v so instruction to the students and uh, now we will start uh, that demonstration this lab is very simple to open just we have to use this link uh, given and i will attach this link uh, i will give this link uh, with uh, different means that i may share that with uh, your whatsapp and uh, after completion of this uh, a particular virtual lab you have to make a, rep a report and uh, in that particular report you have to include objective of that uh, virtual lab experiment and uh, then observation table mentioned uh, also mentioned in this demonstration part and uh, you have also to complete one google assessment that will also give the, this assessment link in your uh, google class so all the best and uh, <clears throat> thank you so let's uh, start that uh, lab performance part so this is that uh, virtual lab and the uh, theory part is here and uh, for self evolution uh, there are some questions so you can uh, give the answer of this and check yourself and uh, these uh, some questions from this uh, self evolution is also included in that uh, student assessment uh, i am going to uh, share you now this is the simulator so this needs to log in so just uh, let me log in here and uh, you can have this username and password and uh, i can use google so this is the simulator so all components are here and we have to make uh, that connection uh, as mentioned in that figure so by using this circuit diagram let me uh, connect all this so the led is uh, connecting parallel to this so this is the so if uh, the connection is good so this ammeter is at the fixed part of this rear state and second part this uh, this is connected with this rear state and the key is uh, with this battery and this battery is connected with uh, uh, 
again as per circuit which the registered as well as uh, LED also okay so connection is complete and this uh, uh, all keys are activated here so insert key now circuit is on so we can change we have these different uh, wavelengths here red color green yellow and blue colors and the corresponding wavelengths are uh, given here and uh, you have to write all these wavelength in that observation table and you can calculate this wavelength for infrared LED by using that graph so now let let us try to adjust this uh, register it for a particular value so uh, it is start that LED starts glowing this is the new voltage 1.89 9 and uh, uh, you have to uh, write down this voltage for this particular wavelength and uh, uh, start calculation by <coughs> putting this value and uh, just uh, color of LED wavelength and uh, new voltage you have to write here and uh, start calculation and this is that periodic table so you have to perform this experiment for different wavelength green yellow and blue and uh, some assignments questions are here so you can also solve these assignment questions and uh, some recent questions uh, uh, from this list is uh, I have included in, in that assessment part the, the reference so I think this is a very good uh, uh, tool for uh, virtual lab and uh, you can learn lots of things so best of luck and uh, continue learning thank you